I want to thank everybody for coming here. Uh, this is a really wonderful event, and as Michael said, uh, it's a, a wonderful uh, advance over our first meeting, uh, which itself was a wonderful advance. We've accomplished a great deal uh, during the, uh, the first formal year of uh, the IAB Education Foundation and the uh, iDiverse Initiative. And I wanted to give you uh, some of the headlines and some of the news, and then I want to turn this over to, uh, to Tim, who has been a remarkable uh, chairman uh, and a great uh, leader with also a terrific team. Uh, and we'll talk more about that as well. So if you'll allow me to uh, call this up. Um, we promised that we were going to create a new kind of a training program that would prepare um, diverse audiences, underrepresented constituencies, for new and well-paying entry-level jobs in uh, the digital advertising and media industry. And uh, really wanted to let you know that uh, we now at iDiverse are coming through on these commitments in a big way. Uh, later today at the uh, College of San Mateo in Silicon Valley, 38 women and men will begin a four-month intensive training program. Uh, we recruit, recruited the students by working with a number of nonprofits in the uh, Bay Area. The foundation is paying their tuition costs. This is the beginning of the uh, formal training initiatives in um, ad operations, uh, digital marketing, uh, sales support, and data analytics. So you remember one of the those of you who were here a year ago will recall that one of the founding principles of the foundation and the iDiverse initiative is doing actual training and certification for real jobs in digital media marketing and advertising. And the College of San Mateo program, which begins today, is the first formal program that is training uh, uh, young people for these uh, positions. Um, we also today are very proud to announce our first East Coast academic partner, the Borough of Manhattan Community College. Uh, the foundation and BMCC will collaborate on a similar training program, similar to the College of San Mateo's, and it's based on employers' real needs. Uh, the program is going to uh, start later this year, and a special thanks to Sunil Gupta, uh, the dean of BMCC's, uh, dean of the Center of Adult Continuing Education and Workfor Devel Workforce Development, for his commitment uh, to our program. Sunil, I know you're, uh, you're here. Uh, well, you're, so in any event, these two programs, one on the West Coast, one on the East Coast, are really bookends for something that we uh, expect will grow much larger and fairly quickly because by being able to uh, codify and standardize the training and bring it into uh, community college uh, settings, we have uh, real audience, real students, and the next step is to connect them to, uh, to real jobs. Uh, we are preparing online versions of the training programs as well, so the scalability uh, will be, we think, uh, profound and rapid, and the results will be wonderful for the, um, for the goals of the iDiverse initiative. So with that, I'd really like to uh, turn it over to Tim, who is the, uh, a, a lot of the inspiration for what we're doing. Tim and Tim's team, Twyla and Maureen, working with Michael uh, and uh, Krista and uh, Megan on our team have done a, just a tremendous job, not just of inspiring, but of really crafting a very, very important uh, program. So Tim? Thanks, Randy. Uh, so first, thank you all for coming this morning, and uh, this is the second or third event we've done, and it's really great. How many people here are Olympic fans? Have been watching something to do with the Olympics. Okay. You're excited by it, correct? Okay. This is the Olympics of diversity, is what we're doing right now. Randy and I are both technically on vacation this week, and I had to explain to my three children why I was leaving vacation to come back to Manhattan, and they said, Dad, why are you leaving us? I said, do you guys like the Olympics? They said, yes, Dad. You know, we love the Olympics. I said, well, what if we said that only certain people could compete in the Olympics and only certain uh, people, depending on uh, their backgrounds, were allowed to get in the starting blocks? And we were watching the, some of the sprinting events uh, when we were having this conversation. And really, I think what... Uh, 
today is really about, which is super, super important, I think both to, uh, to Randy and I, is a lot of companies and from an industry perspective have been announcing all of their diversity numbers and uh, there's a lot of feedback around those diversity numbers but I think when we got together on this with Michael and our team, the one thing we wanna do was actually make physical change and infrastructure change and just like the Olympics has Olympic development training programs and allows uh, athletes from all over the world to compete um, our industry, that's exactly the same infrastructure we want inside of our own uh, industry and and we decided that when we started this program that we would actually try to launch physical product and physical change and i think today actually is a huge huge day and an exciting day for all of us because we have the education programs launching and we also have the first physical diversity product for the industry that was built uh, uh, for the industry and i would just call out uh, two people on our team uh, twyla and maureen who are uh, Right here, right down. Stand up for a minute. Stand up. These are our uh, uh, Olympic gold medalists. And uh, I was also explaining to my kids, which was, uh, they were asking, I was explaining what these pro the product was that we were going to announce today. And I said, um, yeah, I said, do you know those commercials like the P&G commercial and the, the UPS commercials where they have the people who live their normal lives and they work and then they compete in the Olympics? Uh, that Maureen and Twyla both have more than full-time jobs uh, overall and spent their time for the last 52 weeks have been meeting and building with Michael Theodore. Where's Michael? Uh, over here probably. Uh, for the last 52 weeks behind the scenes, this breakfast was driven by a year's worth of work by these guys and they deserve all the credit uh, for putting together what you're gonna see today and I think it'll be a huge first product for diversity industry. So thank you guys, so overall huge accomplishment. <laughs> and uh, last thing I would just say is that um, there's a big article in the Wall Street Journal today, I don't know if you guys have seen it, about Facebook and their diversity efforts. And uh, the article is not exactly positive, um, but I took away a huge positive motion from Facebook and the things that they've been trying to do in diversity. And I think one of the things that we have to get used to as a combined entity and team is that uh, competing in the Olympics comes with a lot of uh, training and it comes with a lot of failed races and you don't win all the time. But if we wanna be Olympic athletes at diversity, we're gonna to have to basically do what we've done for the last 12 months, but even do it in a more intense way and take more risks and more chances overall. So I, the one thing we would, Randy and I have always asked for out of this, the meetings and the breakfasts and the things that we're doing is what can you do yourself personally to help train and try things? And then two is how do we basically push ourselves to make this a massive, massive, uh, business strategy also. So just like any other business strategy, we should push ourselves all the way to failure on this endeavor. And I think today you'll see the first products. This should be the first string in many, many products uh, for diversity overall. So we're uh, super highly engaged in this. We have a board meeting after this meeting. And uh, I think we are gonna go out and try to raise more money and raise more leaders to get involved in this overall. And anything you wanna do as an individual athlete to compete in the Diversity Olympics. We are gonna cheer you on, give you a track suit, and uh, Randy and I will hold the water bottles uh, as you run around the track, and we'll run around the track with you. And, and anyone who, as in the Olympics, good metaphor, as in uh, the one race where runner fell down and another runner stopped to pick her up, that's what we're here for. Or the other race where the two runners joined hands, to cross the, uh, the finish line together, that's what we're here for. That's what we need your help for. Help pick us up, join hands with us, let us pick you up, and we can take this forward. We could actually do something. It may only be 100 students right now in two programs, but that 100 can become 500 very quickly, can become 1,000 very quickly. But what we need to do after we've given them this training, after we've put them through a certification test that actually will qualify them, we also have to open up jobs for people. Those jobs are there. This is the fastest growing industry in this country, in the world. The jobs are there. We just need to collect them and to connect these qualified candidates to these jobs. That's our goal for the next year and beyond. So thank you for being part of this and on with the show. Michael? Thank you. Thank you very much. A um, year and a half ago, uh, we were here, smaller group, uh, and one of the ideas that uh, uh, percolated uh, was the idea that a lot of companies here are involved with nonprofit organizations, 
but no one knew which organizations people were working with. One organization might say, we want to have our folks volunteer. We don't know what's out there. And so the idea came that there should be an online directory of organizations, nonprofits that are dedicated to ideas of diversity and also technology. Um, we want to take the argument that we hear all the time, well, you know, I'd love to hire a fill in the blank, but there's just not enough of them. We want to take that argument completely off the table. And, and first of all, I'll say that argument doesn't really hold any water anyway. But we want to make sure that, that people can no longer use that as an excuse. And it is true that introducing college students or even high school students to the uh, opportunities in digital advertising is probably a little too late. That people need to learn about these industries and the opportunities going way back, middle school, even earlier. And so there are so many organizations out there that are dealing with kids, men and women who, who don't have access to the same opportunities that all of us have had. And we think it's very important that our, our member organizations and individuals commit themselves to working with these groups as well. It doesn't always take money. Sometimes it just takes a, a spirit of volunteerism. And so we were committed to developing an online directory, and today you're going to see the results. So Twyla, come on up. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to start off by saying I've been with AOL for five years. I made five years this summer. And I've, so that's about 20 all-hand meetings, town halls. And I said, wow, I never want to be the following act after Tim Armstrong. <laughs> and now it's Tim, it's Michael, and Randall. Great. <laughs> So I have the honor to share with you a tool that we've been working on for quite some time, Maureen and I and, and team at the IAB. And um, it's, it's pretty amazing. And I hope that I can get you excited about what we're doing here. So what is a directory? Not a play on words. It's a directory. And it's a tool to help you really make connections with the community so that you can you know, work with those nonprofit organizations that are really driving diversity inclusion. The directory holds now about 500, 500 nonprofit growing at every day. Um, they serve and provide services, I mean, from a range of mentoring, workforce development, uh, just to name a few. So nearly every state is represented, um, heavily concentrated in New York and the Bay Area, because this is really reflective of our industry. And it's also in Canada. So like we like to say here at AOL, it's global. <laughs> so how does this help you? It is your one-stop shop to find these partnerships and really help you in building your diversity talent pipeline. And in addition, it's the best way to share practices. And to give you an example, one of our initiatives here is an internship program that we call Infuse 100. Last summer it was piloted. We started with 50. You know, we don't want to start with 100 at the first time. And we really were you know, looking for organizations that we can partner with to really build and recruit for these students and, and meet our criteria. So to be strategic, we've partnered with nonprofit organizations. And now that you have a directory like this, we're looking at this year, we've increased it to 100, but next year we can broaden who we're working with and making sure that we have infused interns in all of our offices. And we've actually taken the infused program this summer, global, <laughs> we're in Canada and we're in the UK. So without further ado, I'd like to take you through it. I'm going to have Maureen join me on stage and she's going to act like she hasn't seen it.
All right. Okay. So, as I mentioned, when you come to the first page, you'll learn about the directory. 500 plus nonprofit organizations, and here are the communities that they are involved in. So, Maureen, <laughs> thank you. I'd love to show you this tool to help you with your diversity efforts and help you build your pipeline. Can I take you through it? Sure. All right. So you come to the home page. I want to make sure that it's clear to you that these are nonprofit organizations that you see at the top. If you go to the very top, you see that there's another search button. In the middle, there's a, a way for you to share this information through your Facebook or Twitter or your email because we all know it's not real until you share it or you tweet about it and put it on your Facebook page. Right? <laughs> okay. It's not real. All right. And then you have your menu, which will take you through and back to pages that I'll take you through the site, but however, there's also a fact page so you can learn everything about the directory. Okay, we would scroll down for me. All right, awesome ways for you to search, so we'll get back to that in a little bit, but as you know, if we really wanna pique your interest immediately, we have some featured organizations for you to take a look at. But if you just wanna search by location in the United States, you can go to our map, all right? Hey, scroll down. So Maureen, you want to continue to learn more about us? You can sign up for our newsletter, receive updates, and we'll be frequently updating that. And on the right, if you know about an organization that might not be included in our 500, because this is growing, please let us know. That's you. Okay. Then we have a spotlight section. Today, it's highlighting a quote from Frida, who is not the I am actually before her today. She will be following me. <laughs> and then there's recent news if you want to learn more about what iDiverse is doing and the Education Foundation. And if you see at the bottom, AOL provided their support in building the iDiverse directory. Thanks, AOL. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the search. Let me take you through. If you scroll to the top. Now, Let's say you've heard about a nonprofit organization that you really want to work with because they're doing some fantastic things. So you know their name. We already have the location here, so we all can learn about you know, what's happening in our neighborhood. So let's start with Script Ed. Is Script Ed in the house today? Woo! All right. Hit go. So it takes you to a page where you learn their mission. I'll read this to you, just a little bit of this. Script Ed brings its tuition-free program directly to schools where classes are taught by software developers on a volunteer basis. Awesome, right? You wanna learn more? Sure. Let's hit that details page. If you look to the right, it tells you providing tags of all the things that Script Ed does and the things that might be of strong interest to you. Do you wanna get involved? Let's hit that button. So provide us with your contact information, you know, what you're interested in, why you want to partner with them, and then get involved. All right, so now you want to go back to the front page. Let's hit that button at the top. <laughs> All right. So let's say you don't know of an organization and you just want to look at a variety of topics. So let's browse by topic. Right here. Okay, so as you can see, you can check by audience, the program, any, the ways that you want to help, and the location. As I mentioned, nearly 50, nearly all states are represented in the directory. So let's scroll to the top. Let's try to create a search to give us a broad range of different organizations. Let's look at economically disadvantaged, education, and volunteering. Scroll down. And let's click on good old New York again. Right here, there we go, submit. Wow, look at that. So even one mile away, right outside our door, is an organization that I can partner with to really you know, target volunteering, economically disadvantaged folks. Pretty awesome, right Maureen? So far, so good. <laughs> All right. Let's hit that button and go back to the top. I have one more way I wanna show you how you can search. Scroll down, okay. So, let's say you just wanna search a popular topic. I say veterans is really important to the diversity movement right now. You know, Verizon is doing a lot of work there. So let's hit on veterans. 
Again, you already had New York populated, so it's again showing you organizations that you could work with that's very close and nearby. Nice. Are you sold? Are you sold? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you know, Maureen, I want you to win in your organization in diversity space. I want all of us to win. So I hope that you felt that this tool was user friendly and it's really going to help you take your diversity efforts to the next step. If you want to provide us with feedback, you can contact us at info, info at idiverse.org. Thank you.